Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a free service called MockCloud to simplify the experience of managing all your cloud storage devices or cloud storage platforms in that case. So on the screen right now, we can see all your major cloud service providers like Google, Google Drive, Google Photos, OneDrive, that's with Microsoft, and Dropbox, Box, just to name a few. So you can connect all your cloud storage devices into one simple interface that is small cloud. So for the purposes of the demonstration, I've moved all my files previously onto OneDrive through this interface also from Google Drive and Mega, both of which will be used in the example today. Now for privacy purposes, I will obviously blur out these files and folders, but just know that they are in OneDrive and that they've been transferred here through MoCloud. You can actually see in the top right hand corner of the screen right now that I've used nearly one fifth of my free monthly MoCloud traffic transferring those files. Now I'm going to start off by showing you guys how to add cloud drives. So if you go to add cloud, there's plenty of options to choose from, but I'm just going to demo Google Drive for now. So you can either click on the Google Drive icon right over here, or you can click on Google Workspace and go to access personal cloud. Once you're there, choose an account and allow more cloud to access your files. And that's it. That's simple. Now that's Google account integration. Now I'm going to show another type of drive that doesn't have any integration. For these kind of drives, you just have to manually enter the username and password that you will normally use on the login page of the site. So once you are done entering the credentials, just click add whatever drive that you want to add and then that drive will be added to the left menu so much for adding cloud drives let's now explore some of the basic functionality that mo cloud offers because this is a newly added drive let's go to the official website to verify that all the files and folders are correct which they are so now let's perform the demonstration so with this GPU-Z example file here, let's perform a cut and paste of the file from Mega into Google Drive. So let's just select the check mark by the example file GPU-Z here and select cut from Mega and select paste here in Google Drive. After the progress bar finishes, the file should disappear from Mega and appear in Google Drive, which we can verify in the website itself. So now that we've done that, let's look at one of the more advanced features of this interface. So over here we got CloudSync. And what CloudSync does is basically syncs a folder, a directory from one of your cloud drives to another directory of another cloud drive. So over here in Mega, we have an example folder and we are going to sync all of its contents to Google Workspace or my Google Drive. And over here, you've got all sorts of options for your sync. You can have normal sync or real-time sync. What real-time sync does is basically it syncs the file in real time, what the name implies. And what normal sync does is different from real-time sync in that it doesn't sync in real time. It just syncs periodically. So if we click on sync now, it's going to add it to the task list. And if we just wait for this to finish, all of the contents from Mega's example folder should show up in Google Workspace, which it indeed does. So now let's look at another feature called Cloud Transfer. What Cloud Transfer does is basically the same as Cloud Sync, except it's got new options and an option to select individual files instead of whole directories. So over here, we can actually select individual files from our Google Workspace and sync it to Mega. So we're going to sync a zip file of Microsoft Office to Mega. And over here, if we see our options, we have options to skip the files if it already exists in Mega. And we also have the option to delete the file after it's transferred to Mega, which I'm going to check. So once again, it's going to be added to the task list. And if we wait for the progress bar to finish, we'll see the zip file out of Google Drive and into Mega. So now we can hop back into Mega 
and refresh to check if our zip file is there. Sure enough, it is on the main page, on the main directory, and it's out from Google Drive. And that's the end of this video. If you found the video helpful, please don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Thanks to you guys for watching, and thanks to MoCloud for sponsoring this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye for now.